Alright, it's time to stop screwing around. Oh, alright. I was kind of expecting something to happen as soon as I arrived, but... I'll go inside. Who the hell do you think it is? I can't go the same way that I went before. I went up the stairs before, I think. That's locked. I'm going through the door now. What the hell is that? That looks like a... You know, I, I had said this before in the episode that I came into this area before. But, remember, what? I mean, I've been to New York City before, and I've been to this museum before, but I can't remember the layout of it. I have a memory of thinking that it, it sort of kind of looked like this, but the layout wasn't identical, of course, because it's a video game. You have to lay it out like it's a... But, ooh, okay. Ah, shit. But I got the impression that it was sort of like, eh, that's the idea of what this place is supposed to look like. Oh, she's almost dead. Oh, she died. Ah, <laughs> okay. You know, what occurs to me... Now, it, it seems a little strange to kind of point something like this out in a video game. That's about mitochondria gaining sentience and attacking humanity. But how the hell are dinosaurs... Oh, shit. I went through the wrong door. Uh, I wanted to get that treasure chest. How the hell are dinosaurs coming back to life? Everything else we've seen has been some kind of a life form which has been mutated by Eve to turn into some sort of a monster to attack Aya. Now, yeah, sure, dinosaurs were living things, but aside the fact that they're dead now, I can't go that way, oh, right, that they're dead now, you're gonna have to bring them back to life, and not only that, bones that you see in a place like this aren't actually bones, at least not anymore, all of the... There's no organic material left in there, and there's not even any of the calcium left over from their bones. It's all, like, silicates and stuff. So, how the... Of course, I'm getting a little ridiculous. It's, I mean, look at the shit that's going on here. Pointing out that the dinosaur shouldn't be able to be brought back to life seems like the dumbest argument, really. What the hell are these things? Iguanas? Something that small, you think shooting it at least once, or oh, shooting it once would be enough to kill it. Yeah, <laughs> I forgot to pick that up the second run in. And I guess that's where they came from. Immediately. As is the case with a lot of the games that have kind of random encounters, although they're not quite random in this game, but they're random-ish, it does kind of get a little bit old after a while, being caught up in a fight that takes a long time. Now, of course, this isn't as bad as some of the older games like early 90s RPGs, like I don't know, Final Fantasy 4 and 5, where the random encounters happen pretty damn often, 
and you get stuck in a fight for a long period of time. It's not quite so bad here. But it is notable. Oh shit, what did that say? I don't remember an alarm going off, but I'll take your word for it. Ha! Oh shit, I didn't pay attention. Five? Seven. It wasn't seven. Ten. Oh, jeez. Ten, ten's not even an option. <laughs> ten. It's... Motherfucker. <laughs> Okay, process of elimination. Oh wait, I already chose that one. Wow, I'm embarrassing myself here. Okay, what the hell am I doing wrong here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, I'm gonna... Eight. I'm gonna say that some of these are flowers. Fuck it. <laughs> Follow the arrows. They gotta lead you somewhere. That's another one of those things. Ha! Uh, is that the right answer? <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. I guess I'm fighting it. It's not dead, and it missed its attack, though. I threw a lot of energy points into increasing her AT gauge, so you notice that it fills up pretty damn quick now. I was kind of hesitant to... One of them stupid things where I always think, like, Oh, I don't want to commit the points to anything. I didn't want to put it in a weapon. I didn't want to put it in the item capacity because it seems like something I should just be able to judge, juggle my inventory appropriately. So I just see where to put the points. I finally just said fuck it and I put my points into the AT gauge, mostly. And now she's a lot faster than she was. Now if only she'd learn to shoot faster. Are these voting booths? Two parts to any dungeon in a game like this. First part is you get into the dungeon and you have to explore around. Second part is figuring out what to do then. <laughs> now some of the... something I noticed in some of the... Uh, well, not every dungeon. But, like, let's say the, the gold standard for this area was Final Fantasy VII. There were a lot of dungeons that you went into and it offered a very linear path that you had to get through. It's one end, you get to the other, it's oftentimes a very narrow walkway that you had to go through to get there. Then there are other dungeons where, like, uh, I don't know, um, the Shinra Tower, where you more you did have to progress in a somewhat linear way, but you had to move around in an area trying to figure out how to advance before you could move on. 
So you weren't simply uh, pointing yourself in the direction of the exit and moving in that direction. This is definitely more open-ended with the way its dungeons work. These Easter Island heads, now they're too big and they look different. Is there any? There's got to be something in here. <laughs> Not even a fight, there's nothing in here. Oh, there's an exit over there. I can't get there. It's got to be, I don't know, you push something and they move. Why is the building made out of stone? Ah, oh, shit. I kind of wish I didn't go for the three shot because the, uh, it doesn't do much more damage than the two shot, but our attacks do take longer. Filling up the AT gauge faster does do wonders for making sure you can attack more often, but it doesn't help you at all when it comes to the actual speed of the attacks. Well, these things hit hard. They take a bit of a beating too. Only one of them, it shouldn't be too hard to dodge its attack. They seem to go straight in the direction they're pointed when they start rolling like a pill bug. Ooh, Medicine 4. Now, can I get to that door? No? Hello? Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> M203-4. Now, that would almost be worth it for the sake of getting back to a two-shotter to transfer my skills from this one to this one, but it only carries eight... Hold on, how many... How many... Uh, how much ammunition does that thing hold? 24 on that. And this thing's 8. Uh, if I could use a super, a super tool, I would do it. Transfer all the stats over to this one. So, or transfer the two-shotter over. Maybe, yeah, maybe I should just do that. Transfer the two-shotter over. It's got Frozen, but Frozen's not that useful. It's got one in attack and one bullets. I'm not that interested in getting that over would be nice, but not 
as useful. Maybe I should just get the two, the two shot over. Hell, why the fuck not, huh? Look how many different stats this thing can hold. There we go. Seems kind of stupid thinking about it, though, that you'd want to have a two shot instead of a three shot. Oh, okay. Oh my god, I have no fucking idea. Two hundred thousand volts per cubic centimeter. Holy fuck! Oh, I'll say. That's, that's the uh, that's the right answer, though. Huh. <laughs> that's a uh, two hundred thousand volts. I guess maybe that's cubic centimeter. You know, I didn't say I didn't really even read the question. Oh, I guess where the things jumped down and attacked her. Blue or green or bluish green must mean unlocked. So that's where we're going. end up behind that statue. There's got to be something there. Let me go there. Before I get lost somewhere else. There's got to be something behind that statue. <laughs> you know, you'd think tools would be much more useful to me. I'm consuming every damn weapon I find for the sake of beefing up my main. But I have so many of them in reserve. In fact, I think I got a bunch of them in the bank. Rocket! Do I have the rocket launcher on me? No, I must have put that away too. Oh yeah, that worked much better with the two shot instead of three. I was able to do the attacks and then get out of the way. Ugh, I don't know. It has nothing to do with aging. Slow cell reproductive rate. Aging, really? Aging? What did I win? Do I only win if I get it right on the first guess? I know jack all about biology. <laughs> I am getting so much ammunition, it's kind of ridiculous. Makes me wonder what made them think that I would ever run out. Yay! Big button. Big button. Aw. 
Can't press the big button. Fantastic. Where did it get skin? Wow. Not only does it bring dinosaurs back to life, they get friggin' laser breath. Medicine 4. This is a big place. I'm hoping I didn't miss anything that I gotta go back for. Is this just really me trying to find my way to the other side, or do I actually have to do shit along the way? What do we have here? This dinosaur right here, Eve didn't bring back to life. Guess didn't want to bring anything back that's not corn. Oh, okay. I think I know where I am now. Or not. Never mind. I don't know where I am. <laughs> What? Of course someone locked the door. No one's in the room, but they locked the door. No. Treasure chest. Don't jump through the fucking window. Sweet. I got some kind of protector thing. Lower defense, but what... Pocket to carry more items. Sweet. Hmm. What stats does it have? It's not it's not really carrying any boosters, really. But it does have that one more item thing. Increased capacity by one. Yay! Increased by one. I'm gonna go get back that, that health thing that I just left behind. Or not, whatever, I don't need it. I wonder if I can actually jump off the side. Why is that window broken too? How do you plan on getting down there? Oh, yeah, yeah, jump down. That's fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I'm at uh, 23 minutes and 45 seconds, so I'm going to bring this episode to a close and pick it up. Hopefully I'll get through this dungeon in the next episode so it doesn't become a three-episoder. Not much really happened here. <laughs>